we are talking of uh, change in narration and what happens when what happens to uh, the helping verb in case it is negative and in, in the, if the helping verb is do does or did and if the helping verb is negative <clears throat> for example let us say she said comma and where commas begin why <clears throat> do you sit here question mark in where commas closed do is the helping verb sit is the main verb now in this case see how i'll change it into indirect she uh, there are two ways in fact she asked why he she or sometimes i also i sat there full stop all right it can these personal pronouns can be uh, can be second person it can be third person or first person but if in case the grammar rule says in case the object is understood then i take the object as myself this is the rule so you see <clears throat> do sit this is one way i can you may be prompted to express yourself in this manner also she asked she asked why he did sit there now see the different the basic difference between she asked why he did why he uh, sat there or she asked why he did sit there is that of emphasis in the second sentence uh, second sentence is emphatic in nature it is stressing a point but in a non emphatic situation i would express myself as she asked why he she i sat there <clears throat> so this is what i meant when i told you that if do does did is affirmative it will uh, amalgamate or couple with the verb if it is negative it will remain separate if it is negative if it will remain se separate she said come out for example why don't you sit there so then it will become she asked why he didn't sit there so if uh, if do does did all right this is one if did for example does for example or do for example they are negative they are negative then they will remain remain separate remain se per Right. They will remain separate. But if if they are affirmative, they will conjoin together to form the verb, to form the main verb, main verb. this is what brings us to the to uh, the the interchange between question word order into statement word order so if uh, if the helping verb is do does did and if it is affirmative if it is affirmative as here as in the as in this example do does did and the main verb will conjoin together if they are negative they will remain 
uh, separate they will remain separate let us take the let us take uh, for example I will of course say she asked him why he didn't sit there full stop you see the helping verb and the main verb they have remained separate they did not conjoin with each other they remained separate so these are few finer details that I wanted uh, to take you through uh, one important thing that stands out is uh, the fact that if uh, the direct speech has a question I will not use that this is the basic thing to understand and to learn and to remember and to retain that is second thing there is a definite change in the word order the simple reasoning is if there are few words before a question word I the question word becomes a subordinating conjunction then and the word order thereafter has to be has to be a statement because I'm not asking a question then I'm making a statement therefore the word order has to change so this is uh, equally true in the case of questions whose answers are uh, yes or no you can try this on your own you will not copy the question you will not copy you will not use uh, yeah you will not copy the question word in that case in that case you will not copy the question word but you will use uh, if or uh, whether you will use 